Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about our new program. It's uh, called Pick Design Suite. It's available to download or on our website. Uh, basically, it's a uh, photo ordering system. You will have to create a new project every time you're going to send in an order. Then you can choose what kind of project you're trying to send. We'll start with the photo book. After you choose the photo book tab, there's all sorts of uh, books that you can order. We'll start with just a simple hardcover book. After that, you will have to choose a size. We'll go with the 10 by 10 just because that's the most popular one. Uh, you have two options. You can either use the wizard or skip it. Using the wizard, basically, it will design the book on its own. Uh, most of the time, that option is not very good because it won't let you arrange it on its own. So we'll skip the wizard. Uh, type in the name for the project you're about to send. I'm going to just call it test. Oh, I already have a test, so I'll call it test 3. Right, so this is your basic layout here. Uh, of course, anything that's outside of the, yeah, of the red line will be trimmed. This is basically the cover. This is the front part of the cover. This is the spine, and this is the back of the cover. Uh, we'll start off with page 1 and 2. You have two, the two options of going at it. You can choose one of, one of our pre-designed page styles or you can make one of your own. We'll start with the pre-designed one. Basically just drag it up into the page. And now we import our pictures. Uh, we recommend that you already have a folder with your pictures picked out. That way you don't have to be looking through all thousands of pictures just to find the pictures you want to use for the album. So we'll start off by dragging three pictures into the project. And that is basically it for the first layout. Uh, now you will have to choose different ones, just so you can uh, so you can complete the 10, 20, the 20 page album. Also, what you could do is if you just want to do one, do an actual style of your own, you can add up a picture box, drag it where you want it to be. Let's say it'll cover it three quarters of the page. Just drag it by one of the blue dots. Now we have it covering about three quarters of the page. Then you can drag your picture into it and that's basically what it look like. Also when you have a page style set that you actually really like, you can save your page your spread styles. And that way when you come back in to design a an album, your, your page style will be there and you can just use one of your pre-designed page styles. Alright, so once you got a couple more pages added, you can also add backgrounds onto the layout. Basically, just drag it onto the layout. It'll automatically add it onto it. Then from that, we'll add a page style to it. Then we'll do a background that will cover the whole spread. There it is. And now we can drag a photo onto it. And in the mask, file, in the mask folder, there's a mask so that you can fade your pictures. That way it's not just a complete cutoff there. It also fade it. Also, if you just drag a photo onto a blank page, even though you don't have a picture box, if you right click it, it'll give you different options. Basically, the fit option lets you fit it to one of the pages, to the whole spread, or to a picture box. We're going to fit it to the whole spread, that way you end up with just the one picture covering the whole page. And then you can fix it, just to see how what it's going to look like. So there you have it. I'm basically going to fill out the rest of the pages, just so I can show you the rest of the process. Okay, so once you've completed all the pages, now we go back into the cover. There is a lot of options as far as the cover. You can simply do drag a picture. Then what, we're, what we'll do is we're going to fit it to the page to see what happens is this in the middle, that's actually basically our spine. So if we leave it this way, basically the, 
the bride's head will be right on the spine. So what we'll do is we'll fit it to where it covers all this stuff. Anything that's outside of the red box, it will be cropped off. So be careful not to add any images or anything as far as that you want to keep. So maybe somebody's head or some sort of important text. That way you know that it won't get cut off. So basically what I'll do is drag this onto here. I will make it a little smaller. Once I have it there, then I'll just drag this over this way so that you end up with the whole picture covering the cover. The whole picture in the cover. The red dialog box means that your picture is low res, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a different one just so that the dialog goes away. Also, what we could do is simply add a small picture in the front and do a mask around it. And then add a background to it. And that's it. That's basically your cover there. So once you're done with that, you hit the shopping cart. Then you have to save your project. Once the project is saved, you order it now. So once you hit order now, our disclaimer comes up. Uh, once you've read it, agree to it, and then hit start. Basically, the start button is going to take you to our online account system. If you don't have an account, you would have to create one. It's the basic stuff that you have to put in, just basically a username and your password and your basic information. I already have one, so I'm just going to log in with it. Okay, so once you're in here, it gives you a total of what the album is going to cost you. Your shipping options, you can either ship it or pick it up at the lab. What I'm going to do is basically have it collected here. Also here in this tab, you can add special instructions so that if you want something done to your book, just basically tap it in here and then that would automatically let us know. Uh, once you're done with that, you confirm your order. It'll let you know your order has been accepted. Then it'll bring you back to the program and it will start the transfer. We ask that you don't close the program till the transfer is complete and you receive an email letting you know that your images have arrived. If you don't, you will receive an email letting you know that your order is missing the images and we can't process it yet. Other than that, you're basically done placing your order. Uh, seems like a, it's a very simple and straightforward uh, program. If you have any questions, don't feel free to contact us.